Okay, moving on. The next big thing is going to be part nine. Uh, part nine is coming soon. I'm going to be working on it right away. Um, it's the next thing on my list to get done. So we're going to dive right into part nine. And what we're going to see in part nine is more chord progression ideas, um, variations and adaptations of chord progressions. Uh, we're going to see descending fifth progressions, descending third progressions, um, mediant and minor dominant progressions. And what that means is like a descending fifth progression is going to be a progression where we keep moving down by fifth. It's almost like playing through the circle of fifths. It has a really interesting sound. There's some special things to keep in mind. And it's actually going to get us a little bit into this discussion on parallelism that we talked about up here. Um, so hopefully we get a chance to talk about some Debussy when we get in there or some Ravel or something else French and beautiful. Um, so there's a lot of chord progressions like that, not just the descending fifth progression, but um, similar things that that we'll talk about jumping off that. So I'm really looking forward to getting into that class. Um, we're going to get more into music and less into the math. This class that you're just finishing, you know, we got a lot, we got kind of mathy, I feel like. There was a lot of numbers, um, but we had to get it done. We had to get it out of the way. Um, now that's done, uh, and hopefully in the next section we can be a little more focused on just what do things sound like and just talking about beautiful music again. So stick with me. Let's get into part nine and let's have a good time. <laughs> 